A Utah startup quickly made big strides in drug research. In tonight's Insight Report, Dini Wimmer reports on how recursion pharmaceuticals put a time-consuming process on the fast track. So this is our automation area where we're doing something like 30 or 50,000 experiments every week. At Recursion Pharmaceuticals, it's all about speed. Here, automation is accelerating the search for rare disease treatments. It ended up being the computer that was better at that one particular uh, task of looking at thousands and thousands of images of millions and millions of cells. When Chris described to me how to potentially use images to capture this really rich information from biology very quickly, Kind of a, a, a switch flipped in my head. Recursion co-founders Blake Borgeson and Chris Gibson are putting software and science together, analyzing cell images. The computers are scanning 24-7 for signs a drug can control or reverse deadly conditions. And I just thought that there was just a massive opportunity to potentially treat lots of diseases very quickly. In fact, in just three years, Recursion's isolated 20 potential drugs that are moving toward clinical trials. We desperately need to accelerate the speed of drug discovery. Dr. Ann Carpenter's team at Harvard developed the software that's put Recursion's work on the fast track. Cell profilers compare pictures of disease cells with the same cells after drug treatment. We're in a, a new generation where automated image analysis software can identify cells just like Facebook can identify individual pictures of humans. It's the kind of computer technology that's turned fear just not knowing what the future is going to hold into hope for Utah and Ricky Jensen. That's what's so great about recursion. What's going on is because they're, they're giving hope. Ricky and others are featured on the company's inspiration wall, just a fraction of the 30 million Americans suffering with rare diseases. These are the people Recursion's working fast to help. It's something that, that helps me feel excited and enthusiastic when I get up every morning. You see, automation hasn't put any humans out of a job at Recursion. We're using computers to do things that humans are not capable of doing. And what that means is that we've grown in just the last year from about 12 people to almost 60 people now. Soon they'll start screening drugs for more common diseases. The ultimate goal? level the playing field for people of every genetic code. I think that we have the technology or we will have the technology in the coming decades to make everybody healthy. Dini Wimmer reporting recursion scientists are ready to start pilot studies using their systems to screen possible therapies for viral infections, cancer inflammation, and aging. Kevin